Hello guys, most of us using LM317 as voltage regulator, in this video we will show you how to use and attach it into a variable power supply as variable current regulator. Let's get started. This circuit can afford from 140 milliamps to about 500 milliamps, and actually it doesn't affect the output voltage. As you can see here. It's a simple circuit consists of just few components and anyone with a few knowledge can understand it. Solder 10 ohms 5 watts resistor to the regulator output. Here I prepared a potentiometer with 220 ohms soldered to the center pin. Solder one end of potentiometer to the resistor end, and the center pin to the other end of potentiometer that connected already to the regulator. Now connect the other end of potentiometer to the regulator adjust pin. Here is the power supply, I'll drill to attach the potentiometer to the interface. Almost ready, but there are just few steps. <music> to complete the power supply functionality I need to add a switch that turn on and off current limiting feature. Now I will connect the circuit to the negative output. That will guarantee measurement of all pins output current, as you see here the red wire is circuit input, and the orange is output. From the previous video. The green wire is the general negative output. So we need to 
Modify this to fit what we need. Now I will solder the red wire to the direct output pin. Actually I prepared it with extra black wires here. I have a relay here, because the switch can't hold more than 3 amps, so I will control the relay with this switch. So now solder the red wire of the circuit to relay normal close pin. And the green wire to relay common pin. Also orange to the common pin too. Here we have two wires comes from the relay coil. Connect one of them to any negative wire from power supply. And the other wire of relay coil. Connect to the switch. We still have one wire from the switch not connected. Connect this wire to 12 volts yellow wire from power supply. Let's give it a try. It works great. Let's add a final touch on it. First I will isolate the relay with my loyal friend. Heat shrink tube. I like to use it in my work always.
Now I will add a small LED as indicator. Connect the LED positive to the switch output and the LED negative to any black wire from power supply. It works great. Now we can know if circuit activated or not. During this video, I've broken the power supply interface. So, I made a new one with new design. You can get it from description. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like my video. If you have any questions please leave it in comments.